Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Kelpie. This is an RTA from EH Pro. It's a 25 millimeters in diameter. It comes with a glass tank which will hold two milliliters of juice, but it also comes with a bubble tank which takes it out to 3.5. This is actually, this isn't shit as we say up here, it's just not shit. I'm actually enjoying vaping with this. I like the airflow on this RTA and I think the flavor is very, very good. And the draw is it's deceiving. Uh, I'll cover this in the close-ups and the summary at the end, but um, it's not bad. The only thing is it does have one fatal flaw and I'm afraid that's the screws that are in this. Uh, I'll talk about that more at the end as well, but in the UK, I think you're going to be looking about the £30 mark. I've done a quick Google and found two places that seem to be selling it. But uh, yes, close-ups. So here we go for the Kelpie. Now this is the, the package. This is, like I say, this is sample packaging here. And uh, yeah, we've got all this going on and a bit more information on the back. But the important stuff is inside. We have the bubble tank. Once again, this is 3.5 milliliter capacity, but as standard, it comes with the two mil tank and it's very, very easy to change them out. I've not had any issues with the O-rings. The O-rings are actually very good on this. And you can see at the top, we actually do have an 810 drip tip. Take this off. It's actually not bad. I do think, and now I have used it, um, I've actually used a 510 drip tip adapter and with this airflow turned right down and using a standard 510 drip tip, really enjoy the vape on this, but it's it's not bad with an 810. It, it still works well, but I do wish they had included a 510 drip tip adapter with it. Other things that came in the box, we had a certificate of uh, authenticity, uh, just to say that this has been checked, a little warranty card. We also have a, a, a simple little manual here, uh, but this does cover the basics, so no issues with this. Some cotton and a little box, and inside the little box you're going to find some spare parts. You'll find a blue screwdriver, you'll find spare o-rings, a couple of screws for the, the posts, and you'll also find two coils as well. Uh, I'm not going to use them, I'm going to use one of my PC coils because that's what I've been preferring. Now the tank itself is, once again, it's 25 millimeters in diameter. I think it's about 32 millimeters in height, not including the drip tip or the 510. On the bottom, we do have, it looks like a gold-plated brass screw, much, you know, you see these all the time now. Uh, we have AH Pro, we've got a serial number, and we have adjustable airflow control. Now this this is really is quite deceiving when you see this massive massive airflow hole going on here on both sides. It, it's not as eerie as you would think, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, right. Anyway, uh, drip tip eight ten. I told you this already. Now if we spin this round and if I find the the kelpie text here, so finding that kelpie text here, I can then push this across like that, and that is how you fill this up. Now this is. Oh, dog here, sorry. Uh, I don't have any issues with this. It is, for me, when I push this across and I get to here, it does get stiff. So, yeah, uh, it, it's not like it's, yeah, it's not opening by itself or anything like that. So I have no issues with the top fill system on this. You've seen it on many other devices and uh, it's working well on my one that I have here. Looking inside here, you can see that we've got we've got a little kelpie in there. Um, if you ever go round Falkirk Way, if you're in Scotland, go and have a look for the kelpies. Uh, but unscrewing the base on this one, and here we go. Now, once again, as I said, uh, the, the glass tank comes off no problem at all. If you want to change this out for the bubble one, uh, I've just washed this out, and yeah, that all goes on nicely. You can see that you've got your your chamber inside there and the coil's going to sit in there. It, your mouth is actually quite close to the coil in this, uh, but uh, yes, that probably helps with the flavor. Now, the deck. The deck is, it's actually quite well done this. I mean, we've got the, you know, you've got all these holes going on here. So your air's coming in here and coming in here, but it's being diffused by all these holes. I think, I can't remember, is there about 20 of them? Uh, let's have a quick count. I had to put my glasses on and uh, yeah, there's 30 holes in there, but uh, they're not all the same size and it's it's not like they're all just drilled vertically. Um, they're actually 
they're, they're coming in at angles, uh, which I, I honestly think is helping a lot with the flavour. Uh, this has been well done, this. Uh, I do like It's not unique. We have seen it in other RDAs, but I don't remember seeing it, the holes drilled this way. Um, now, we have two wicking slots here and here, and we also have our post screws up the top. These are Phillips screws, and you can see here, now I've had 24 gauge wire in here, and I've also had like Alien Clapton's and whatnot, and I've not had any issues. Um, however, I will say these screws here are the weak point. These are, these are pretty bad. Uh, they're, they're Phillips screws and yes, not very good, I'm afraid. Now, obviously, because you have the four, uh, it does mean that, you know, it doesn't matter which way your coil's wrapped. That is a positive. I'll give it a thumbs up on that. It's just the, the actual quality of these screws and the size of the Phillips screw. It just, it just seems like a really strange decision and they're just pretty poor. They're just very poor. Now, there's nothing to get excited about, about putting a coil in here. This is, uh, it's very, very easy to build on this. And I'm just going to hold this in place and then I shall tighten off these legs. Did I just say tighten off these legs? I'll tighten these legs down with these screws. So my coil's in. Uh, once again, this is a PC coil. This is a fuse clapton. This will be coming out at about 0 0.4 ohm. It's a full NI80. And you can see where I've taken this. Now, I like to run my coil, actually, it's just so it's a bit level with the top here, just underneath the, the top of the deck. And that has been what has been working well for me. I have tried one of my, I've, I've tried a two and a half millimeter inner diameter coil in this, and it still worked well. Um, I'll talk about that more at the end, but this is what has been working the best for me. As far as cutting the cotton in this one, um, you know, normally in RTAs, I cut to the outside edge of the, the, the actual RTA itself, but this one, I'm kind of cutting halfway between, you can see that you've got this, where the slot goes down there and the outer edge, I kind of cut halfway between the two there. You do not need uh, a lot of cotton in this one. It's, it's strange. Normally what I would do in the, in the past is if you had a channel like that, I would have possibly have a tail of cotton going down here. Or like the, the old GG days, the Golden Greek days, uh, you wouldn't take the cotton down, you would just have it sitting up the top. Personally, I find that just having the cotton sitting up the top works really well with this one. Going to be using some of my Miranda from some Regency here, because, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Now, the only thing you have to be mindful of here is make sure you can see you've got these threads here. See the thread? This is where your top cap's going to screw on to. Uh, that you want to make sure that the cotton is not going to get caught in that. So I'm just pushing the cotton back a little bit. And yeah, it's, it's dead easy to set up this one. I, I really don't have any issues with it. And that's pretty much me set up with my cotton. The only thing I did do was uh, I can see, see where the slots are here. I tend to push the cotton just into just into the sides of here sometimes. I did find just once, I mean, it only happened once that I was getting leaking and I think it was just just working its way up and coming in the back of there. So I just make sure that's all set off and uh, that's me. Um, that's my build done. Let's screw this back on here. I have no issues with the threading on this at all. In fact, I have no real issues with the build quality on this whatsoever, aside from those screws. Usual kind of carry on when filling, I just like to close off the AFC, the airflow control, just close it off. Remember, find your little Kelpie text there and just push that across, grab some juice and fill her up. Uh, it does help if you fill this at an angle. If you don't fill it at an angle, then uh, it tends to back up a little bit, but uh, yeah, it fills up no problem this. And there we go. Right, pop this closed, I'll open up the AFC and we'll go for a vape. Now I did say that uh, when you look at the size of the air holes here, you think this is going to be a full on, <gasps> one of those, you know, gobfuls of air, but it's not. It's actually quite, not heavily restricted, but there is a restriction there. It's a restricted direct lung. Fully open just now. It's actually really nice. I will say it's almost like nearly most of the RDAs and RTAs that I've come across recently in the past few months that have used perforated air holes. Is that? No, I've got that wrong. Lots of air holes. Uh, but it, it seems to really help 
with the draw and, and the way I like to vape, it just seems to, especially uh, the Convergent RDA, I think that was the first one I came across that I really enjoyed the flavour from and, and this is the same, it just seems to be a very flavoursome vape and I do enjoy the draw. I mean once again I'm in a 0 0.4 ohm Clapton here just now and I've got this fully open 35 watts and I can't give this full beans just now because uh, I'm stuffed with the cold but anyway it's really good I, I can't take that away from it uh, I really cannot take away the flavour on this thing if I turn down the airflow uh, to a third which is where I like to vape with it normally uh, I'll keep the, the wattage output the same and that is bang on so airflow is if I take it down to to this what you see here it is a restricted direct lung quite a restricted direct lung or a reasonably restricted direct lung fully open it's not gobfuls of air it just isn't and uh, and that suits me I really enjoy the draw from this um, the actual tank itself it's it's not the the bonniest tank I've come across. It's it's not offensive uh, in the slightest, and um, I actually really enjoy vaping with this. I don't have, once again, the only issues I have. Number one, it really works well with a 510 drip tip adapter and a standard 510 drip tip. If you take it down to this kind of draw here, smaller diameter drip tip on top, and it's it's really really nice. It works well as it is, fully open, but if you like a restricted direct lung, then it can do that as well. I have no issues with it. I think it's good value for the money, for the £30. Um, it's easy to build on. You get the 3.5mm capacity tank with it as well. The fill system works well. I don't find that it's too loose. It doesn't open easily for me. Um, I really don't have many issues at all. The only one, and this is... A deal breaker, I'm afraid. The screws. The screws in the deck are atrocious. Now, um, I do Facebook live streams in my group and I did one this morning and I did mention that I was going to do a review for this today and I did say that I thought great RTA, the only issue was the deck screws. There's a young man called James that's in my Facebook group and he did state that it's a known fault and issue and the second batch that comes out of this RTA shall address that. That's brilliant. That's really good and I'm pleased to hear that. However, I have to review what I have in my hand here right now. And right now, I would say, unless you can get confirmation from EH Pro that you can buy updated screws or they will give you updated screws, then I wouldn't recommend this because of those screws they really are bad they're they're possibly the worst i've seen in a very very long time which is a crying shame because i really like this rta a lot i love the flavor from it and i love the draw from it and it's that's two big thumbs up from me in that one and it's such a shame that those post screws they screwed that they really screwed that one up i'm afraid so um Speak to your vendors, speak to EH Pro, see if you can get confirmation. Uh, if anybody knows, if you can, feel free to leave it in the comments for this video. Uh, but if you can get that sorted out or get one from the second batch, then I would definitely give this one a go. It's not shit. Anyway, thank you to EH Pro for sending this one on. And thank you to you guys as always for watching. No doubt there are a million and one reviews out for this already. Go and watch them and uh, see what they're saying before you go and spend your hard-earned money. But I shall catch you very soon. Bye for now.